I am here today to demonstrate the drop and stay. Uh, basically a drop and stay is uh, either 3 8 or half inch shock cord. It's got a loop on one end and a cleat on the other end. The loop end is going to attach to your boat cleat and the loop is just a little bit smaller than the boat cleat so that you'll have to stretch it in order to get it on and that way it'll ensure that it will not come off during usage. Put it on you can see that it's stretched. There's also shrink wrap that covers up the crimps and what that's going to do is it's going to protect your fiberglass boat from nicks or scratches. Um, and then all you got to do is take your anchor rope, make a loop out of the rope, you're going to put it through the slot that's in this cleat, you're going to wrap it around the head, and that's it. And then what this does is this acts as a shock absorber that, that equalizes the pressure that comes from your anchor rope that the boat puts on your anchor and that's going to allow you to, to hold on small rocks, sand, uh, and you're not going to have to let out as much anchor rope which is going to allow for much more precise anchoring. And as you can see, how it works there, this shock cord will allow up to 100% stretch um, which is basically will give you four feet of stretch. What we're going to do is we're going to take this system out onto Lake Winnebago. It's real windy today. We're going to hook up a scale and that is going to show you um, exactly how much pressure is on your anchor without the drop and stay and then we're going to add the drop and stay and you're going to see how it equalizes the pressure and you'll be able to see how much better your anchors are going to be able to hold because of it. So let's get out there and uh, show you what I'm talking about. 